Thank you. Senator Kennedy. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Judge, Judge, congratulations. Uh, Judge Cheeks, you, um, I see you're quite a prolific writer, and you say in, I heard you answer Senator Durbin's question, you said you don't, you don't take a position in these articles? I said I tried not to take a position in most of my articles. Well, you, you didn't succeed. Um, in October 2020, you published an article entitled, I Can't Breathe. You remember that article? I do remember that article. Okay. Uh, you were talking about uh, Mr. George Floyd's tragic death. Here's what you said, quote, your words, not mine. Quote, what happened next after Mr. Floyd's death is nothing short of amazing. Mostly peaceful protest. Mostly peaceful protest broke out almost immediately in Minneapolis, and the use of excessive force by police officers, be officers became the villain in a sea of protesters, end quote. Did I read that accurately? That sounds correct, yes, Senator. All right, and then in, in October of 2019, um, you, you wrote an article entitled Raising Responsibility a Concerned Parents' Perspective. you remember that? I do remember that, yes. Did you take a position in that article? I recall my position being talking about how am I going to address issues with my children. So you did take positions, unlike what you told Senator Durbin. What I, I told Senator Durbin that I try not to take positions. Okay. Well, I want to read you... Um, from your article, quote, your words, not mine. Needless to say, I have a guarded opinion about the police. How do I teach my sons to respect them and fear them at the same time? There can be no question that police officers have some of these same internal or external biases. Let me repeat that. There can be no question that police officers, not some, Police, all police officers have some of these same internal or external biases described above. Do some of them view black males differently the other, than others? I think so. Sounds like a position to me. Do some think black males are more dangerous than others? I think so. Did I read that correctly? Yes, you read that correctly. All right. Now, and, and then in May of 2019, you remember writing an article for... Uh, a publication, um, well, rather the, the title of the article, excuse me, you, you, the title of your article in which you say you didn't take a position was called The Federal Dungeon Part Two, Court Proceedings. You remember that? I do. Okay. And you were talking about it was then under President Trump, not President Biden. The Department of Justice then had a zero tolerance for uh, illegal uh, entry into the United States. Because that, of course, is the law. Um, and this is what you said about that. Quote, technically the law was broken, but these particular defendants, poor, hungry, hardworking, and not dangerous, deserve a pass from prosecution. End quote. Saying that illegal immigration should not be criminalized is a position, is it not? It is. What I'd like to add is that those, everything that I wrote, I wrote while I was an advocate, not a sitting judge. Oh, I see. That I makes was, a difference. Did you I mean was, it when you wrote it? When I, when I wrote it? Did you mean it? I, me I meant it when I wrote it because... Okay, but you I, don't mean it now? I do not mean it now. So if you right take now. off your advocate hat... Today, uh, do you have your advocate hat on today? Or? I am no longer an advocate. I'm a sitting magistrate okay, judge. Okay, so you're so so you you don't uh, tell the truth when you're an advocate, but you do when you're not. Is it okay to lie if you're an advocate? I don't follow the question. I think it's pretty clear, and I think you follow it. You've taken a lot of radical positions, Judge. 
and you can't make this cat walk back backwards. Now, you can't make this cat walk backwards. I have one question for our second judge here. Judge, you remember a couple years ago going on a broadcast called Visible Voices Podcast? I do, sir. All right. Here's what you said. It was just a couple years ago. Mm hmm so we're not talking way back in law school or anything. We're talking about a couple of years. You've been on the bench how long? Eight years then? I've been on the bench almost ten. Yeah. Well, but, but when this, when you said this in front of God and country, you'd been on the bench eight. You said it in January 31, 2022. Here's what you said, quote, I think that COVID has brought a lot of these issues to bear, especially in the legal profession, where I tell a lot of people all the time, we, the people, never included people of color or women. When you have an institution that is set up by property-owning white men for 200 years or so, it wasn't geared towards thinking about what would be the best work schedule or how we could really incorporate women with children in this field. So it's been a challenge that COVID was exacerbated. End quote. Did I read that correctly? Yes, Senator, you did. And then you go on later in the podcast to call for quotas based on gender, don't you? No, sir, I never yes, you ever do. claimed that. If the Senator about will quotas. give me time, I'll read what you said. May I read? May I finish reading what you said? The witnesses desire and then, not being believing in quotas based on gender, and it's I have the Senator, quote. you may read the quote, and then she will give an opportunity to respond. Okay, here's your quote. Judge, your words, not mine. Quote, I think it recognizing implicit bias is really important. Me too. But I'll be honest, I don't think that's enough because the truth of the matter is nobody is going to voluntarily give up their position in favor of women. Women have to demand it. Women have to be willing to require and hold people accountable, hold men who are in those positions accountable, and say, quote, why don't we have an equal number of supervising judges, close quote. You didn't tell me the truth, did you? You believe in quotas based on gender, don't Senator, you? Senator, your time's expired. I'd let the witness respond. Thank you. No, I have never advocated on behalf of quotas. I think it's undisputed well, that at the was time. This? Please. I just continue, read it. Continue I think at the response. time that the Constitution was written, there is no question that it did not include women and it did not include people of color in the definition of we the people. We, as women and people of color, have only recently been able to be judges or jurors or politicians. But the systems that were created when I was excluded and when people of color were excluded continue. All I was commenting upon is that the diversity in the judiciary builds integrity in the system and public confidence in those institutions. I never mentioned anything about quota. Thank you. Good Sorry. try, Judge. Senator Butler. Good try. Good try. 